Across the internet, strange and obscure social media accounts can pop up that leave us completely dumbfounded. Typically, many of these have a simple explanation. They're an ARG or part of an immersive web series and are actively tying in these mediums for their story. Other times though, they're much more enigmatic. While at face value, these could be some sort of act, something about a strange account just might seem off, as if it's being taken completely seriously. Tonight, we're going to explore one such Facebook account that I previously touched on in episode 4 of Disturbing Things from Around the Internet. If you haven't yet seen it, don't worry, I'll catch you up so you don't have to click off this video. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to dive back into the mystery of Ori Chef. As I said before, a few months ago, I included Ori as an entry in disturbing things from around the internet. To catch you guys up, let's take a look at a snippet of what I started you off with. Last year, a post was made on the X board of 4chan claiming that there was a user on Facebook that discovered a strange profile by the name of Ori Chef. Apparently, Ori had commented on a news article, clamoring on about nonsense. After they attempted to translate it, things got… strange. The 4chan user went forth to say this. So I was just on Facebook like a normie that I am, and I came across a comment in a post that's a bit unnerving. It's from a posted article from a page that has a few comments, so I saw it. The comment was obviously not entirely in English, but she explains how she wants to be cremated before her husband or some type of thing and she kept talking about her friend Susie or something. So I got weirded out by this and tried to click on the Facebook account to know what the fuck is up with this lady. This is where it gets weirder. This was her profile. I immediately saw that she had no posts or even uploads of pictures, so I assumed that she was a dummy account by some dude who's doing god knows what. Then I saw her friends list. Now I just realized after skimming through all these accounts that every bio that she has adds something weird or cryptic, like cheese bread from an almond milkshake and pita bread from a seasoned beef kind of shit like that. It seems to be so many that I can't imagine the reason why some person would do some kind of shit like this and what purpose. So it seems that after visiting her profile, they found that every single one of Ori's friends was simply another version of her profile picture with photoshopped facial features and hair. Posts on their profiles get even stranger than this. There are multiple images depicting animal gore with captions that hint at the murder of her own children. As we just saw, Ori Chef is a strange Facebook account that posts obscure things. These things could include images, text posts, external links, and videos. Back then, the 4chan poster that I previously referenced got in contact with her and asked about all of her other profiles, to which she responded saying that she made them for Facebook games. Now, while that seems like bullshit at first, Let's take a look into Ori's account now and see how this theory holds up in relation to the posts that have been gaining traction again lately. So Ori seems to be back as some people have put it in my recommendations. Let's head over and take a look at her Facebook profile to see what we can dig up this time. So straight off the bat, we have some strange wall posts that people have shared, some ordinary selfies of her in the Philippines, and some eerily edited photos of herself as shown in the sidebar and intermixed within her family pictures. Going into one of her posts from December 9th, we can see a portrait of a man. This initially might seem odd until we head over to the next, oh. Okay Ori, very positive. All right, anyway, the picture that I'm trying to find is this one. Here, we have a family tree, and it seems that this man is actually named Ross, and using simple logic here, is most likely her husband. One more thing to note here is her last name. 
Marjorie Kwa Kayeha. So, if this is her last name, where does the chef come from? Pressing forward in this post presents us with more ordinary family photos of Ori out and about in her daily life. Really, nothing more out of the ordinary. Convenient that she would put the two most outlandish photos front and center, huh? She does this a lot, and it's honestly genius. Hook the visitors in with ominous photos at the start, and allow them to mask the normal ones they are actually sharing. Interesting. Let's move on. So, one of the creepier things that she's recently shared seems to be what's getting Ori this newfound attention. Here, we have a very foreboding picture of a woman. In another post, she also includes very disturbing edits of this same person. In a story that she includes with this, she claims this. Hello, my name is Marjorie. I'm going to tell you what happened to Daphne. She was a very close friend of my father and I saw her very often. I'm 26 now, but I'm going to tell you what I remember when I was 8 years old. The third week of the month, she told my dad that she wanted to have surgery to look more beautiful. However, my dad told her that it was not necessary. She didn't care. Anyway, my father went to Daphne's house, and when he came back, he said Daphne is dead. It surprised me because I was not expecting it. How did she die? She cut her throat with a piece of broken mirror, shaking her head depressively. Now, she goes on in her story and claims that this woman haunts her dreams and stays in the head of her victims. However, after doing some digging on the name, I found a personal Facebook page for her and a thread on 4chan from 2013 that has users attempting to match Daphne's face to that of Jeff the Killer. Apparently, Ori's story holds no substance at all, as it's not only written like a creepypasta, but most likely someone that she doesn't know at all. Going into Ori's Facebook videos, we can see that she has quite a bit of intermixed content re-uploaded as her own. Straight off the bat, we can see some from Carrie Johnson, The Ring, Momo, and some that aren't exactly safe for work, per se. So, with the intermixed videos, the fabricated story, and the family photos with disturbingly edited ones sprinkled in there, is Ori Chef actually being serious here? Is she really some deranged mother out there making some disturbing Facebook profiles to stir up some conspiracy? Is she, like I previously mentioned in Disturbing Things 4, abusing her children? Is she a dark web lurker? Well, not quite. You see, what I'm honestly gathering here is, first and foremost, the belief that Ori is absolutely doing this for the attention. The animal gore that she shares on her page could very well be nothing more than a simple photo that she had snapped to share with the world what it's like being in her profession. In the Philippines, people still kill animals at home for special occasions, and I believe she's doing none other than sharing exactly that. Going back to her other stuff, so we see a multitude of disturbing videos and images that come from Ori. However, one thing is evident. In the comments of these, she'll often reference herself as the one who is featured on Dross, and who is popular in creepypastas. So let's back up once more. Years ago, she started her Facebook page. She most likely, and harmlessly, made other accounts to actually help herself out in games. Since it started happening, she was discovered by someone on 4chan in mid-2017, and in December of that same year, was recommended to Dross. After watching his video, it's become clear to me that his coverage of her account was very surface level, with him barely diving into the why and focusing more on the what. Basically, the premise of his coverage on her could be summed up like this. What is Ori Chef? A creepy Facebook account. All respect to him, but you really gain nothing from that, other than curiosity. Anyway, this video gained over 4.7 million views, and understandably, his viewers went to check her out. With this newfound fame due to the coverage of her situation, I believe that she's decided to run with it, and continually posts outlandish and very disturbing videos pulled from all over the net in hopes of keeping this supposed mystery alive. Not only that, but fake accounts could be popping up, as the possibility of other people jumping in on the joke is a very obvious repercussion as well. That honestly seems to be the reason that she still shares ordinary things about her daily life, including pictures, videos, and even a YouTube channel that seems to show ordinary videos of what looks like barista training from two years ago, all masked with disturbingly edited and intermixed creepy posts to keep the viewers guessing. And it's working. Out of nowhere, she somehow amassed newfound fame 
due to people rediscovering her and becoming reinvested in this mystery. However, there really isn't much there to dissect. She's most likely a middle-aged, stay-at-home chef who made multiple accounts to help herself out in Facebook games, was discovered by 4chan before being sent to a very, very large YouTuber who sent her back an extremely large audience and is still, to this day, running with the fame because it entertains her. That's it. While I am being harsh in my criticisms of the fame that Ori Chef has garnered, I can seriously respect the dedication that she has to this mystery. Typically, when things like this happen, they die out pretty quickly. However, with Ori, she knows exactly what she's doing and is leveraging it to keep this admittedly very fun internet mystery alive. I tip my hat to you, Ori. The things you drum up and share on your page honestly are disturbing. And hey, as long as you're having fun doing it, then more power to you. Anyway guys, that wraps up this update on Ori Chef. I wanted to make this quick video to set the record straight on her since my initial coverage left it pretty open-ended. If you don't agree with me, then I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter in the comments below. To close, I hope you enjoyed this, I'll see you in the next one, I love you all, and good night. <laughs>